The Providence College Friars came into Saturday afternoon's game hungry for a win, dropping three of their previous four games when the Seton Hall Pirates showed up to the dunk. And on a day where they honored some of their former Friar greats, it was a current one that stepped up when they needed it the most. Losing three out of four and coming off a tough home loss to Villanova uh, to bounce back and get a win, especially when Chris got in foul trouble. Uh, I thought that's when LaDante really stepped up. So kudos to his leadership and his toughness. The coaching staff just did a great job of finding me in the, in the right places. And um, they challenged me to play a, a lot harder and a lot tougher. So that's what I tried to do today. I thought LaDante's leadership, especially down his uh, stretch, showed in the lock and the huddles, uh, telling us some things that he wanted for not just himself, but for the team. And, and also on a, on, a, on a weekend where we were able to honor some of our former student athletes, I think it's, uh, it's good for them to feel a victory as well. Our mentality is really on to the next. You know, uh, we play tough, we play hard, and we try to get every win, but uh, we know we won't be able to do that. So we just was focused on the next game, and um, Seton Hall played well today. I'm happy we won this game. All I can think about now is uh, DePaul. We played them. We got a good feeling about them. That we're playing on the road. As you can see, playing on the road in our league is really, really hard. Uh, and that's kind of all I'm thinking about. The Friars tip things off Wednesday night at 9 p.m. in Rosemont, Illinois, when they take on DePaul. From the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.